Right. Good day and welcome everyone to week number five. Um, so we're going to, I'm sorry, week number six. So this week and the following week, we should be learning about uh, the respiration in plants and also photorespiration. However, due to the recent um, announcement regarding um, the implementation of your test, which must be done online. So I'm thinking this is uh, the great opportunity to do your um, SEL or student-centered learning activity uh, uh, for, for the time being. So all this while, um, you have been learning from uh, week number one until all the way until week number five, you have been basically uh, spoon fed by me. So in student-centered learning um, approach, it's you who's going to teach me, your friends and the rest of the planet with whatever that you have learned in a structured manner, of course. So go to your general instruction. This particular document has been updated and the latest one starts from number, um, let me see, number 13 here, right? So we're going to do a little activity and these will contribute to um, your test one as well as for you to do your SEL activity, all right? So basically, um, as you can read here, we are going to create an ebook for each group, for group top and also group bottom, right? So I'm going to show you how, how this is going to be done. And this is how you are going to be evaluated and that's going to contribute uh, 50 marks from the overall of your achievement, right? So re please read this document because the instruction uh, for the things that you need to refer to for each group has been spelled out here, all right? I've uh, got a little hint for you as well because I want you to get a good mark, right? And then we also have for um, group uh, bottom. Yeah, so this should be number 15. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I missed to number that uh, properly. All right, so you can um, read about this uh, later. So let's see, what do you need to know? Right, so these are the things. So for group top, you need to do an ebook about uh, cellular respiration. Of course, you need to learn about it first. You are going to have to go to the YouTube and learn about this cellular respiration, okay? It comprises several um, steps. So my advice is to learn this sequentially so you're not lost. Remember from the last week and the previous two weeks, you have learned about photosynthesis, correct? In which you have the photoreaction and also the synthesis reaction, which is the Kelvin cycle. So the product of Kelvin cycle, your three carbon product, I hope you still remember the name, can be combined later on in the plant, of course, into a new product, which is the glucose, the sugar. So this sugar can actually be broken down in order to produce back the ATP for the plant's needs, right? And there is a cascade of reactions, not just that. So it's your job now to tell us the entire of our lovely planet Earth what is going on. And hopefully people can appreciate that and thanks to you, can have a very good comprehension, okay? So that is for the group top. Right. For group bottom, it's the same thing, but you need to do something about photorespiration. Okay. I did mention this while um, you were learning your photosynthesis, that especially for C3 plants, when it gets too hot, the stomata are going to close. When this happens, the concentration of CO2 is going to drop very rapidly, causing the rubisco to catalyze 
for the second reaction, which is the oxygenous reaction, rather than the carboxylous reaction, which is the one that we have all this while in the Kelvin cycle. Okay, so what happens when Rubisco is not fixing carbon dioxide, but oxygen instead? Especially when the stomata is closed and you're, you're, you're having all this, you know, built up of oxygen um, in the plant cells. Okay, so read about this and then watch the video and please follow this sequence. Okay, the hint is given there for your benefits. Okay, all right, so let's have a look. Um, what are the tools that I think is going to be helpful while you are doing your ebook? Okay, all right, so suppose that you have watched everything. Okay, so number one, it is helpful for you to install this screenshot for YouTube, all right? So um, I, I assume that all of you are using the Chrome because you've got your Gmail account, your univers our university account is using the Gmail, right? So have this installed um, into your Chrome browser. So once it, it has been installed, you need to restart it, of course. You are going to get something like this this little uh, radio button on here. So if you are This lesson is on photo something, respiration. I'm sorry, I'm going to mute this for a bit. So let's say that, oh, I want that picture here because you, th you think this would look very nice in your ebook. You just press this button. Yeah, so you press that button. Oh, sorry, not, not that, uh, this one, you, you have to press exactly on the screenshot word. So this can video can go on for a bit and oh yeah, I want here. Just press that. And soon afterwards, you are going to be presented with the image, which is automatically saved into your computer. See? Yeah. So later on, if you don't want this guy to appear, you don't want any floating head in your flip up ebook, you can remove him later, all right? Okay, not to worry about that. So that's a useful thing to, to have. Right, number two, I'm going to use this uh, video as an example, okay? Um, in your ebook, you need to have um, like story, okay? And you think whatever that this guy is talking about is very interesting. You can actually turn on the caption here to have the subtitle coming on automatically. But note one thing, when you press this, if it says here it's auto-generated, that means it's been done using a software by Google. So there's bound to be some mistakes in it, okay? It can be 100% correct, it can be 98% correct or even less, right? So you can do the correction later. So now I'm going to show you how do you can extract the transcript out of this video to be used into your ebook, right? So turn on this um, CC button here and then go to the three dots thing down here and then you need to open the transcript. I hope you can see that. So after, after you have opened the transcript, you're going to have a list of transcript here. So you want to use this um, into your ebooks and also for your reference letter because you need to read this many times, not a problem. So what you need to do is you need to copy all of this all the way down. I've tried Control A, it didn't work. So I need to do that manually. So copy that. And now you need to open your, um, oh wait, I'll just open a new one for you. Yeah, open Excel. Yeah, and then you have to paste it here. Start at the second row. You'll know why in a bit. So paste that. So you're going to have all of this um, transcript uh, copied from the YouTube just now. So all this here has been transferred here. So how can you grab all of this while having all of this 
timestamps. Yeah, this kind of getting in the way. So there is a little trick um, that you can do to remove this and just get the text, okay, while elim eliminating um, the timestamp. So what you need to do is you need to um, create a title uh, for this uh, column. Let's call it, yeah, that's your script. And also we, uh, for the, se the second column, we call it the remover. So we're going to use this column as a remover. What you're going to do is um, you are going to have to put a little function um, into Excel to help you with this task. So press equals, right? Um, so the function is you use the mode function and then put, um, just click that. Then I'll put row. Okay, two. Um, yeah, I can tell you later in detail what this function actually um, does. But uh, for now, just take it as the way it is. Right. Um, so what's wrong here? It should be. Uh, let me correct that. Double click that. Yeah, it's easier to click it that way. So it's going to turn as zero. So have that and then go all the way down because so the way I did it, I want um, to to um, highlight this last cell down here. Uh, the way I did it from, from the top, let me show that again. So go here, highlight that cell, and then you need to press Control, Shift, and the down arrow. So it will go all the way down here. Okay, and then under the um, removal column, you need to put something. Let's put zero. Okay, you can put anything, right? And then you go back up. All right, okay. If, if, if you missed it just now, how, how did I um, go all the way down um, automatically? I pressed control, then I press shift then I press the down um, arrow arrow sorry okay and then it will go down automatically all right so once you have this you need to copy this um, function here all the way into each of the cells under this remover column so you're going to copy that Control C, and then you do again here, all the way down, and then you paste it. Yeah. So now, as you can see, it's going to give you this pattern as 01010101. That's what we need because now we can assign the timestamp row as zero while the script row is one yeah after you have done it you need to go to the um, sort and filter and then you can click this filter button we want to eliminate the stamped right so we you can tell the this column here to eliminate all with zero mark so press this and then uncheck the zero Press OK, boom. All you have now is just the script. No more timestamp, right? So after that's done, your Control Shift down again. Copy that, right? Okay, and now what you need to do is you go to Word, create a new file, and then you Control V to paste everything. Like, yay, you just got this um, lovely text, but it's still not optimum enough. Why? Because, yeah, this is in the form of um, table. You don't want this. So you can undo, undo this, paste as text, okay? Keep the text only. However, this still 
uh, doesn't look pretty enough. You don't want this, okay? You 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 want you want everything in one paragraph because you want to create your own paragraph rather than have this long text. So what you can do now is, um, you go to um, the home. You need to um, show the paragraph, okay? To do that, um, yeah. Under this paragraph uh, section here, under the home tab. Go to this uh, little button here. It's called the paragraph mark. So press here. So it's going to show you why the, your sentences start like very so frequently. So you need to remove all of this. So to remove this, to make all of this into one paragraph, what you need to do is um, you need to go to home tab and then you go to find. I'm oh, sorry, not fine. You need to go to replace. I'm sorry. All right. So to to remove all this um, paragraph mark here, you need to put a symbol, the carrot symbol, not carrot. Carrot is the the vegetable that you give to your rabbit. Is the carrot here? Then thirteen. Yeah, that's the secret. So carrot here is the symbol. It's the one with um number six you press shift and then you press number six carrot here i found it actually just now this symbol here okay this carrot here or sometimes people call it circumflex either one okay it's 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 acceptable right so put carrot and 13 and then you replace with you press the space bar one time right and then you click replace all yes so all 319 replacement has been made for this uh, particular transcript, okay? So you can close that. Yeah, you see, can you see all these small dots here? Yeah, you can remove that by unclick this paragraph mark. Ta-da! So now you have been left with a one long paragraph, which you can use at any time later, but Remember, this has been automatically generated by um, YouTube, okay? So something might be incorrect. So I suggest you to, to listen to the video. Oh, not this one. This is the video, right? So listen to the video. Environments. All right. Let's the video run. This lesson is on photorespiration, a special situation that happens for plants because of their evolution yeah. in different environments. Listen to the video entirely and correct, if needed, any of the miscaptured words, all right? For example, this Kelvin cycle, it's a proper noun. It needs to be um, in capital letter, right? And then you can put um, a little paragraph to it. You know, try try to make a, a, a good article out of this um, transcript, right? With the Kelvin cycle, it was all about getting CO2. CO2, we know, oh, sorry. We know that the two should be subscript. Yeah, you can go to the subscript um, here. From the atmosphere. Okay, let's say that that's where you want to, to stop it. So this should be the new paragraph. So create a new paragraph out of it. Please make it nice and tidy, okay? This is for your own good. So this can be your note already. So do, do this for all of the videos that you are going to read, and then you can use it to create your, um, your ebook later. So let's, let's say that um, this is done, right? So you can, you you can go to Canva, right? Canva.com. And then you can search for ebook, right? Then you're going to be presented with lots of templates to, to do the ebooks, okay? Um, so decide among your team members. If you have a Canva of the premium Canva, that's good. You have more control over it. If, if not, you can just join the trial period for 30 days. I think that's long enough to do your um, assignment, okay? And let's say that uh, I have actually chosen one template here. So let's say that I'm going to use this template to do um, my uh, ebook. So use the template 
in Canva to create your ebook. Okay, so you can go to YouTube to watch how people create an ebook. Very easy. Okay, this is meant to be very easy. Okay, how are you going to be evaluated is based on this criteria. Okay, the content outline. Uh, depending what kind of title that you got, uh, whether it's cellular respiration or photo respiration. Okay, I want to look at your content outline, your um, story coherence, the re readability, facts accuracy, and also the creativity. All right? Okay, and then you need to submit to me uh, when. All right, I'm going to give you some time to do this, okay? I'm not that um, a monster. Uh, wanting this to be done by next week. So let's have this submitted by a week uh, after your mid-semester break. So submit. So this will be number 16, right? Okay. Submit after mid-semester break. Okay. Uh, which is on, when is it? It should be on the 15th of September. December, not September, sorry, uh, December, right? Okay, and I believe uh, this is on uh, Wednesday. Okay, right. So please submit. And if you have any question, you can ask me on the, um, on the Skype, right? And please watch this. These are the good videos I have actually selected for you. So for the cellular respiration, the channel is from this um, Professor Dave Explains. Yeah, he's a very funny guy and very interactive as well. And then for the photo respiration, we will use two videos. So you can use two videos to, to get your facts. And also, if you want to get images uh, using the screenshot um, extension that you just learned, uh, so that you can make a very beautiful and presentable ebook ever on 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 history, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. For photo expression, we have this and also this guy here that we just used for example. All right. So um, best of luck. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, doing this. Um, please make sure that everybody is involved in your group. Okay. Whatever mark that your group uh, receives is going to be the mark uh, of each one of you. All right. So I'll see you later. And if you've got anything, you can ask me on site. All right. Thank you. And have a nice time.